great pleasure of talking with Joanne Yu at today's Asian American Federation 2021 Gala. Hi, Joanne. Good you are of course. Hello. <laughs> what a year we have all lived through. What is the one word that you would use to describe this year? I think I would say the word that I think about the most is loss. Um, how much we lost in so many, many, many ways. You know, just to the people we lost, um, to our security that we lost for the Asian American community, just this national targeting. And what we saw before the, uh, the inauguration, it was the loss of the security of our democracy. As a, a newscaster, we've covered so much of that loss. Then another word that comes to my mind is also resilience, just so much. I've seen so many people lift up and lift other people up as well. Oh, yeah. You know, I think about all of the different ways that our member agencies, like all of them, have just just sprang into action. In so many ways, this year is probably the most challenging in AAF's history. And I'm made worse by all these issues that the community is facing. How did your vast past experiences prepare you for this challenge? Nothing prepared us for a pandemic. Um, so it was just trying to get anything people needed just on the ground. But we were also recognized, knowing our community, what was helpful was we knew that we could never do anything in one language. We've done some of this before, but I say like, this is just completely unprecedented, right? Like who knew that we'd be, it's gonna be almost a year since we've been home and none of us, none of us anticipated this. What, what strengths do you draw from? I would probably say personally, uh, my family. You know, I, I when I was I'm an immigrant kid. So when I moved to the U.S. when I was nine years old, uh, and you know, kids learn English so quickly. Um, and I grew up in in a big Asian American enclave. I mean, it's small, but you know, for me it was vast, right? Because it was all the uncles and the aunties. <laughs> you know, what I ended up doing was being the broker between mainstream and my community, mm-hmm. and having to always explain things to the mainstream, having to take care of my community at a very early age. It was everybody's sad story. Um, You know, we knew all the tragedies and having to, as a little kid, process that. And at some, you know, many, oftentimes being able to be the broker for that, uh, you know, the the system against the community. So that was one. But um, professionally, I think in some way you almost have to be robotic, right? You have to put your own grief aside because you know that there are people who are going to be, who are, in, who are in need, who are in danger. You don't think about it, right? You don't think about, oh, I need to get some sleep. I need to do this. I need to do this. And we always talk about self-care. That's not, that's not as advocates, you know, those are not the things that we worry about. Uh, it is taking calls at any time somebody calls you and they say, I need X, Y, Z. And uh, you need to be there. And for the Asian American Federation, there's a sense of family as well, you know, um, you know, those EDs are our family. Those, you know, we want every single one of them to succeed because they're doing critical work. What will be some of the focuses this year for AAF? You know, Asian Americans' contribution to small businesses, you know, the numbers are huge. We are a huge contributor to the economy in, as small businesses. And seeing them go through challenges and closing and just the heartbreak of all of that. Obviously, we grieve all the lives that we lost, but we also have to grieve all that we have lost with the small businesses. And then immigration, that's always something that we need to think about. 70% of our community were immigrants. And then finally, the thing that excites me the most is our work in civic engagement. I'd love to figure out what the Stacey Abrams model is for our community, but really our community, we need to start small. We need to engage. We need to teach our community how to plug into what is happening. When you think about the future, what is your hope for our community and our city? We need to educate not just our own community to reclaim um, our identity, but to educate the the public about who Asian Americans are and our contributions. I think that that is the key thing is to educate people, as you said, both in our community and outside. Joanne, thank you so much um, for talking with me. Thank you, Cindy. And I love, you know, turning on the TV and looking at somebody who looks like me. And I'm sure there are, you know, tens of thousands of little girls and boys turning on the TV and saying, oh my gosh, mo- gosh, mom and dad, there's a, there's a, there's an anchor who looks like me. I think that's so critical. So thank you for all that you do for our community.
You're welcome. Bye. Bye.